I haven't seen anything. <sighs> oh, hi there. I'm a Nick. I'm a Nick Moore, and I like big butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> You're watching another episode of Face to Face with a Nick Moore. A little bit about me. Well, I'm famous for starters. Yeah. I like long, long walks on the beaches. Beaches. <laughs> I like long bitches. walks on the beach and horses. I'm as gay as the hills and I have a red-headed girlfriend. I love KFC, obviously. And I love this man who is sitting right next to me. He is in a band that sounds a bit like KFC if you look at the initials. Has toured and supported some of the most bestest bands in the world, like Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age, and our very own Jihad. <laughs> he was my drum. <laughs> He was my drummer for 10 years and he has just released a new album, Longest period The life. Colossus. 10 years. <laughs> it's like a prison sentence. Please, shush! Please welcome to the studio Nick Gaffney of Cairo Knife Bite. Yay! Hello. How did I get here? Whose idea was this? You look so skinny on camera, not like me. <clears throat> anyway, Nick Gaffney. Yes. Firstly, let's start with the band name, Cairo Knife Bite. There must be a seriously good story behind that name, right? Am I right? Pop shop. Yeah. I grew up in Cairo when I was a little boy for a short period of time, maybe two or three years, and my father used to take me to the Monday night Are knife you, fight. Is this a true story? They're all true stories, all of them. All the lies I tell about, about that name are what true. About, you've played drums for some of New Zealand's greats. Who's yeah. been your fave to work with? Do you have any Halea tour stories? Well, I spent 10 years with you. I reckon you were my favourite. Yes. Yeah. You were my employer. You paid all my bills for a while. I sure did. And what bills you did? Mm. We took my daughter on tour. That would have been I know. the best tour story. Her oh, trying, almost vomiting in the back of the tour bus with us. What about when we were stuck in Kaikota because it was a storm and my manager was like, get the chopper in, get the chopper in, get the chopper in. Yeah, he Remember was that? crazy. Oh, he's actually quite a big in the in music industry. We yeah. can't talk about Peter Campbell like that. <laughs> Do you enjoy the writing process? Not really. Why not? Because it's hard. Oh, baby. I know. It's not easy like you. I take it seriously. I take everything I do absolutely seriously. <laughs> do you want to make it big all over the world, Nick? Sure. Do you really? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't be in, in, in this industry if you didn't. Because when I got signed to my big record deal back in 2000, everyone was like, oh, you're going to be famous worldwide. Mm -hmm. And But I wasn't. No. That's right. You weren't. Did you ever get over that? <laughs> Is that why you're a lesbian now? You're seeking meaning in your life. It's a bit like you didn't become a born-again Christian, you became a newfound lesbian. I'm gay. <clears throat> you have made the move to LA. Does it feel surreal living in the city of angels? And more importantly, how many famous people have you seen? One. Who? Nicolas Cage from City of Angels? No, I saw, oh. I saw Gwyneth Paltrow's mum. What, what, was she doing this? Girlfriend! Hey, girlfriend! Why would she be doing that? I don't know. She was shopping at the Grove. Uh -huh. Little Bartka under it's her arm. Shit. Uh -huh. She was it's pouring shit. orange juice into a bag. Was she really? No. Oh. Uh huh. It's my shit. <laughs> Idiot. <Thank you. laughs> what are your thoughts on the New Zealand music industry? Uh, it's thriving. It's better than ever. Everybody's happy. I can't even pay my rent. I'm just saying. So. Can't you? Oh, the Herald don't pay me enough. If Lord asked you to be her drummer, would you say yes? Or would you go, I don't, I don't want to? Nah, I'm too old for that Can shit. you give me your best Lord impersonation now? No. That's perfect. <coughs> I don't want to do it. What are your thoughts on our Prime Minister, John Key? Well... He is a f you're right. I think he's got do a... You? I don't know why he likes to pull girls here. Well, we've all got our things. What's yours? What's your little kink? What's your little kink in your arm? Piccadillo? Ooh. And that's what it's called. What's your piccadillo? Oh. That's what you're asking me. Whatever. Just what is it? <laughs> Having my hair pulled. Do you like the royal family? Why not? Beyonce, thoughts? Mm. Who's your fave woman singer-songwriter? <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Fiona Apple. Oh, I love her too. Yeah, everyone loves her. You're allowed to love her. I um, went to a gig, well, I was meant to go to a gig of hers in New York, because I used to live in New York. 
And um, so when you're working in an Irish up. bar, right? You're working in that Irish bar. I right? was I was working in an Irish bar, and the owner I, I got hired, and he said, "I'll hire you because of your tits." And I was like, "Sweet." And then you like had sex mm. with everybody and, that you could find in New York, eh? Yep. What would you do if you weren't a muse? Uh, something that you know, I don't know, dull. God, you're such a rock star. And you, uh, uh, I don't know. Well, what uh, else would I be doing? Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably um. I don't know, having, I don't know. having children with your wife, okay? What are your dreams for the future, my child? Sunday. Saturday. What are my dreams for the future? That's an enormously large question. Well, okay, so name your top three. Uh, money, fame, money, fame, <laughs> money, fame, money. Oh, mine are saving children, um, saving, saving them Campbell from life. Mm, I failed in that. Quick questions. This yeah. is the segment where I dream up stupid questions and ask you them quickly. Oh. Are you ready? We're we starting that segment now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've totally finished. Drums or bongos? Drums. Blues or crusaders? Mm. Mm. Are you kidding? What? No. It's just crusaders. John Key or a pile of poo? <laughs> well, any kind of poo. <laughs> Anyone's poo. Up shop all the feelers. Six sixty or Z? <laughs> Stella or uh, Why? What's the other band? Why is this happening? <laughs> Michael Laws or Death by Starvation? Off. <laughs> I death by I death, death by anything. I'd, I'd be like if my if someone said Michael Laws is here to say you have to interview Michael Laws for your show right now, I'd be like, oh but boom. Woo, woo, woo! And that's a wrap from us, Nick. It's been so good to get to know you and your thought patterns. <laughs> I sang at your wedding, but this time I want to sing to you while you rest your weary head in my bosom. Did you sing at my wedding? Uh, me and Julia Deans did. Oh, okay. that's right, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you at home for watching this hard-hitting journalism show. And as my fave talk show host says, To each other hand, cause the face ain't listening. I can't remember last time I thanked you Keeping my distance on intentionally Get off, mm. it's over now Excellent